And we're back here by the tower. Um, I gotta, I go, I got to admit, I actually looked up a map to find out where this next shrine is. The last shrine. I, I know the, I knew the general kind of location or type of location it is, but I don't know. It's, it's like kind of hidden off. Um. It's actually in a patchwork of, or rather, like a maze of ruins. And if you, uh, just make your way from the shrine, from the tower, and you'll see it over there. <coughs> so that's that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit these videos in the future. Um... Like, you know, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on now, like I'm finding my way around these ruins. I mean, let me just climb them. Not, you can't climb everything. Uh-oh. So this is a guardian. I know it doesn't look like it's guarding me or, or anything good. I mean, it's just trying to shoot me. But, you know, I can just climb up here. It's fine. Don't want to get shot, though. That would be one hit kill. So, I place a thing. And we got a new shrine. The Bomb Trial. So, pretty self-explanatory. It's funny that this is the last one I get to, really. Bombs are generally nothing really special compared to how they were in the past. Although there is a new uh, variety of them. And, uh, well, you'll see it here. You can remote them uh, manually, I, I guess. I, I don't think it said that. But, you know, you get your remote bomb, you place it, and then you have the little detonate button. Nice. And, uh, okay, <laughs> well, there are also square varieties, or cube varieties, which won't roll around. But I can just place them, they won't roll anyways. Um, Traveler's Claymore, okay, um, let's see, well, a stick is probably pretty useless at this point. Looks like I can't really see that. Oh no, I can see it. Huh. That's funny. <coughs> uh, anyways. Here we go. Ah, uh, here's a bit of a puzzle. You can't bomb from here, so you have to... ...place a bomb on the platform. So there's the, the square for the cube. Cube bomb. The QB bomb. Um, doesn't roll, so that's good. But I will need the, uh, the spherical bomb because I have to put one into this little tube. Kind of like that. Needs to be like that. Just put it right in there. Let it roll in. Boom. Takes a while for the, the runes to, you know, have power again. I don't think that this uh, sphere is used for anything, but I <laughs> figure might as well carry it around. Doesn't help there, though. Oh, well. The, comp the companion sphere will be uh, will be with me for a while. <laughs> I guess might as well. You know, figure I might as well carry it around. <laughs> Can't put it through that though. Oh well, it's too big. There will be times when I will need to use those uh, those spheres, but um, not right now. Now just hop on to here or bounce, or get catapulted, and, uh, oh, 
and some amber. Okay. Not a big fan of rocks, you know. I mean, you can you can sell them, but uh, I don't think I'm really gonna go to shops in this playthrough. I think that'll be that'll be a uh, thing. No, uh, no great fairies. Maybe no fairies in general. Come to think of it, no fairies. No, uh, uh, no somethings. <clears throat> No fairies, no great beasts, and no shops. I don't need to buy things. This is a this is a terror. There, this is like a post-apocalyptic world. How am I supposed to? Why am I one to buy things in this world? All that I really need is my companion sphere, which I will actually have to just kind of leave there because I really have to get this spirit orb. <clears throat> so there's the orb. I got the orb. <sighs> and all the shrines are done, so now it is time to talk to this old fellow. Um. Okay. Alright, you know, picking a nice spot to chat, you know. Oh. Yeah, okay. Alright then, uh, <laughs> strange spirit guide, the spirit guide must fade away and let you find your way. You know, the first time I, I found this uh, guardian thing, it shot me like three times and I died, of course. And I, I thought that, hey, you know, maybe you can like, um, kill it, and I think I eventually did. But I only got, you know, that ancient stuff, like the scraps, and didn't really have much use for it. <coughs> Took me a really long time, like I used a lot of bombs, I'm sure. Granted, I did that like a year ago, so I don't entirely remember. Oh yeah, making that jump. Pretty tough jump, but hey, if you're good enough, you can do it. Nice little shortcut, I suppose. Just, I guess I figured I'd show this too. Hey, there's the, uh, there's the tower. There's the Temple of Time. I guess I shouldn't be editing too much, you know. Uh, I think this will be a fairly long video if I don't edit much of this out. Right? Yeah. Anyways. We have this strange light from the statue. I don't think that they. No, I think that I think this is uh, Goddess Hylia. Yeah, this is this is like um, Skyward Sword style. Like, for some reason, they went from like the three goddesses in Ocarina, and then they just kind of went to like. Well, well, eventually they just kind of nixed uh, or, or went without the idea, and then they just had uh, Halia here, and who just uh, was from Skyward Sword, and now she's here to give us our heart containers and also stamina vessels to give us that little boost to get by. But I will not be I will not be upgrading stamina for quite a while. The goal is to get enough heart containers. To really, uh, you know, to really go through the game, you know, take a good hit or two, uh, and then go against, well, you know, the final boss of the game. I mean, oh, we're gonna have the explanation quite actually, like, right around here. <coughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know what it is. It's, it's, we, we gotta fight Ganon. And uh, we gonna have an explanation about what the heck a Ganon is, so... I think when we head up here, I'm going to leave it to this character, this old man... <laughs> well done there, young one. ...to explain it. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. 
I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda and the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. 
And then, you are taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Well, there's that cutscene. It was uh, <laughs> a fairly lengthy one. He sure explained a lot. Some cool music there. <clears throat> and we're done with the plateau. And now... Oh, that's that. Oh yeah, it gave us the power glider. <laughs> that's pretty good. He also left us a nice little chest of something. Hmm. Oh hey, sunset. And also we have this, right? Yeah. Took me a second, I figured, you know, am I gonna jump off? Oh wait, I found the chest. I figure I'll head off into the sunset. I probably will not catch up to it by the time I get it to the end of the plateau, plateau. but um, at the very least I can get to the um, to the star of the game, the uh, you know the resurrection shrine place. Been a good time, you know. But I think it's uh, about time I leave. Although you do need to be careful when you leave, you know? Yeah, there's the shrine, there's the entrance to it. When you do leave, though, um, you need to watch your stamina, because otherwise you'll fall off and die. <laughs>